Hi, I'm Emily and I'm a senior vet here at Cats Protection. Come and join me on our vet rounds in the centre. Every day can be completely different depending on what cats have come in that day. Some days we'll be in the centre checking new cats that have come in, giving them a health check, check whether they're healthy to go to their new home, or we'll be checking cats that have got ongoing medical conditions um, to check that they're improving. So now this kitten's eight weeks old, we're going to give a health check and a first vaccination. So we'll start off just by checking whether there's any signs of infectious diseases. So checking his eyes, checking his ears, having a little look at his teeth and in his mouth, checking that all his glands are feeling normal size. Have a little listen to his heart and check that sounds normal. And just check that his coat and his skin all feels healthy and that all his organs are feeling the right shape and size. Check whether he's got any hernias. And just check that he is a boy, which he is. <laughs> and then we can give him his vaccination. There we go. Oh, good boy. <laughs> So every kitten will get a vaccination card to go home with, which is their proof of vaccination. And now that these kittens have been vaccinated, um, next week we will neuter them before they go to their new homes. Should we stick some sleeves on as he's a bit fluey? So TJ's had cat flu since he's been in the centre. So we're just going to give him a bit of a check over to see if his flu's getting better. Oh, TJ, you're a bit nervous. Good boy. Okay. So just feeling to see whether his glands are still enlarged, which they're not. They've settled back down to normal. I think TJ's sounding a lot better, and I'm happy to give him his vaccination. This is a new cat that's come into the centre, so we're just going to give it a health check, see if there's any health problems that we need to worry about before we can rehome him. We have a check of their teeth to see if there's any dental disease. This chap has got some lovely teeth there, looking very healthy. Have a listen to his heart and his lungs. And this cat has a very quiet heart murmur, which is something that we quite commonly see with cats that come into our care um, because sometimes you hear a heart murmur if the cat's a little bit stressed which obviously coming into a shelter can be quite a stressful experience for them. So if he had a very loud heart murmur or we were worried that there could be underlying heart disease and it wasn't just related to stress then we could then do some further investigations to see what uh, the prognosis would be. Hi, you get nervous. Yeah. I'm just checking Florence for a microchip and she's not microchipped so before we send her to her new home we will implant a microchip. Florence actually needs neutering as well so we'll do both of those procedures at the same time while she's under anaesthetic. Okay. So these kittens came into the centre this week and they um, had been dumped in a cardboard box so we'll give them a health check. You're a little boy and he needs neutering. So with all strays, we check them for a microchip to see if we can reunite them with an owner. But this one isn't microchipped and he doesn't have a microchip. So we'll microchip him at the same time as we castrate him. And now we'll give him his first vaccination. Pearl has got quite bad um, skin disease, which we think is related to fleas. And so she's had a flea treatment and she's on um, some medication to calm her skin down. And she's wearing this buster collar to stop her from um, over-grooming herself. 
So we're just giving her a check to see if her skin is improving, which I'm pleased to say it is. She feels better on this. She feels a lot better. Yeah. So I think she can probably start to have her Buster collar off. Oh. How free. How's that? Can you bring it back? Yes. She's got cheese. Find out more about working or volunteering with Cats Protection at cats.org.uk.